Hello VR addicts, welcome to my channel. I am Paolo Triani and today we're going to see how the lab has held up over time. It was released in 2016, April 2016 I think, April the 5th was it, 2016? I think that was the time. So we're going to see how it holds up because it was a tech demo back then and it was fantastic back then, but by now it's probably a heap of crap, right? So I'm about to uh, go into uh, the lab. Ooh. Just installed it. Again, I've probably installed it about five times since it's been released and uninstalled it. So let's, uh, let's go and try it. Okay, here we are. We actually uh, got an update, didn't we, for finger presence? So we do kind of have finger presence in in this game right now. That's pretty cool. Hello, test traveler, Ooh. and so welcome to the aperture science that felt different, of right? Exploration center. Yeah, that's nice. Please move forward. Please use your space. This is the Aperture Science Face Mounted Portal Sphere. It is your gateway to a vast continuum of undiscovered worlds. These undiscovered worlds may also contain undiscovered diseases, natural disasters. Shop. All right, I don't actually remember the beginning being like that. It's been a while, I guess. Has it? Okay. So you're supposed to usually play space here, but then... <laughs> now you see that the 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 one of the issues from this is both um, both graphics look a little clipped from each other, don't they? Um, so, for instance, the mountain I'm on looks very different than um, the mountains that I'm looking at. So the mountains I'm looking at almost look like a 3D picture and the mountain I'm sitting on is is the area that looks like a game, like a play space. Oh, is it actually going down there? Can I actually move around here? No, I can't move very far, can I? But is it still re relevant? Um, well, you got the old finger tracking thing, and you can, which is quite nice. And this does look really nice on the Rift S. I can see the glare from the sun, which is supposed to be there. That's not headset glare. That's actually sun glare. Hello, was, oop. And you could do all the stuff in it you can normally do, which is pretty nice. All right, let's go to the lab anyway. So this is the actual lab. And I noticed that one thing they haven't uh, put in it is uh, free locomotion, but I don't know if that's in a setting somewhere maybe or... But this is basically the lab. And the lab has lots of different things you can try out, which are pretty cool. Um, but is it still relevant? Is it still good? That feels pretty good. All right, the secret shop is actually quite nice. I quite like the secret shop. I know it's, it's got snap turning, but it's teleportation. Now, what I was thinking is, I'm just gonna pop out of this, I'm gonna go to key bindings. I wonder if there's any key bindings for locomotion, no. So there's still no smooth locomotion. But if you haven't been in a lab, I mean, if you've got a new VR headset, this is what you really should go in first, because it's free. Um, 
Well, other than the Oculus version, if you've got an Oculus Rift or something like that, you can go in that one first, but then eventually you go into this one in here. So this is a play space, and I quite like this. I always thought this was really, really beautiful. And um, to be fair, it doesn't look much different. I can't remember if you could pick anything up, but... Ah! ah. And look at you, standing alone in the dark. Why? I am a terrible host. Here, take my life. I know my way around well enough without it. Don't be afraid. There is plenty to see. All you have to do is look. But don't be surprised if something looks back. Treasures may hide in even the darkest corners. I was just closing up. But don't let that concern you. When it's time for lights out, well, you'll see. Well, I have a few deliveries. Oh, and a good thing broke there is uh, out for the night. Maybe I do need a light in here. <laughs> Farewell, my friend. You, 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 you got a light just there. <laughs> I'm just pointing that out. Okie dokie. So he's left a place for us else, which is just like superb you can't actually you kind of only can go around this area here but there is quite a bit you can mess around with when you're in in here which is pretty damn cool nevertheless but clearly clearly that's about it so is it relevant? Is it still good today from 2016? Are they supposed to be up there or I've just lost my space or something? Oh, I've got another reflective surface mess in my area. Oh no, here it comes. Is the lab still good? It's 2019, almost October, September the 25th. Welcome Is back, it still re Stella. relevant? Well, I don't remember this one. Robot repair. Did I just not go in a mall or? Oh, actually, I think I do remember this. Okay, scrap that. Well, the loading screens are a little dated. Okay, so I'm gonna have to turn around because snap turning doesn't seem to be on. Uh, mm, clearly, I haven't Charger done this before. At the charging station. Yeah, stop being a prat. Get in there. Good. Now press the button on the multi tool. Good. Your multi tools have been fully irradiated. Please remove your Perfect. radiation suit at this time. No suit detected. Good. What? There is a cabinet of drawers in your repair station. Please locate it and open a drawer. Now close the drawer and open the correct drawer. Locate and open the correct drawer. <laughs> Good. You have now practiced on two incorrect drawers. Please open the correct drawer. Good. As explained in your orientation, you should, of course, never look directly into the drawer. Room sensors indicate you are currently looking directly into the drawer. You have just interfered with an amateur science pocket universe. <laughs> you are now their god. Close the drawer to initiate contaminated pocket universe contingency protocol. Good. Contaminated pocket universe incinerate. Now the reason why has been removed from your list of responsibilities. He's just not going to shut up, is he? Right. Okay. Before I do that, <laughs> one of them just fell out. There. That's so freaking, that's amazing. Can I actually get? Can I get the gun? Locate and pull the lever. No. Right, anyway, the reason why you could pull these levers open and stuff is because when the Vive came out, let me face you guys, when the Vive came out, it came out with the Vive once. And the Vive ones were revolutionary, really, because they were the first kind of type of motion controllers in VR. That meant that you could pick things up, open things, close things. Located it was really fantastic. Um, and uh, I swear I had that door as well. Uh, 
And that was revolutionary because like the uh, Oculus didn't have that at the time. Oculus took a lot longer to get the touch controllers out. They wanted to finalize them and finish them, which was great because when they did come out, they were the best of the best. They were amazing. But this is... Uh, but but this was like really designed to show you what the motion controllers could do and they were really good. Oh, you look busted up, bruh. And everything looks pretty damn sharp. Distance doesn't look too good. This guy's going through me. Who gave you a voice box that makes it sound so friggin' like horrific? Our robots can feel pain, but they can't express, express it. I love it. Uh, what? Well, we got one of these, and we sitting on the bench. Locate and press the button. Locate what? Okay. Chill. Good. Step two. Locate half-inch board number thirty-five pitch sprocket for amp flow motor D and disengage it from the appropriate linear actuator unless its electrostatic ion reactor is uncoupled from canadized voltage axis servo bracket seven thirty-three E and only if oxidization valves A, C, F, and H one, but not H three, are asymmetric to turbo pump exhaust manifold cables filled. Please take your time. Up to thirty seconds. At which point the thermal reactor currently uncoupled from its heat exchange unit will detonate. Alert flags and deploy. No one knows what you're talking about, so. Again, take your time. 15 seconds. 15 second plaques and deploy. Increased heart rate detected. Motion sounds relaxation plaques and deploy. <laughs> Doesn't kind of let you do anything, really, does it? I don't know. Uh, you didn't get everything. Oh, you can't get everything now. Good. All responsibilities have been removed. Your list of responsibilities. <laughs> I don't believe it. What kind of robot can't handle the simplest? Oh, it's you. Congratulations on your quota filling promotion, by the way. You and scale. This is to show you scale as well. Things you can do with the motion controllers and things, you know, can be so much larger scale or smaller scale, hence the little tiny people. So all of this is in the lab and it that's exactly why the lab was kind of created, to show you how to use these motion controllers, show you what the vibe was about back then and to show you how things can scale and be, you know, smaller, larger, everything. Repair station recycling in progress. I want you to know at first I was against this human diversity outreach program. But now, watching you flail around like a sweaty pile of ham, I see I was wrong. <laughs> it's hilarious. Honestly, I think you're overqualified for robot repair. All right. I've got a better... I've got so much to see. I can't stick around to the ending of that. But I don't remember doing that. That's pretty good fun. And here we are, at least we're at the right level this time. But is this game still relevant? Oh, relevant, I can't even say the word. Does it still apply to today? Now, the next game I have played before, obviously. And this was one that really did show the motion controllers off because it was about, it was about grabbing your bow with one hand and then pulling it back and missing and with you can only do that with motion controllers you couldn't do that with you see I'm not very good at this until I actually learn the bow distance
you shoot the balloons, you get extra points as well. But this is basically a tech demo to show you how the motion controllers work. And it's one hell of a tech demo, realistically. It's not that bad of a tech demo. Oops. But how does it look in the index? And how does it play? In the index, it looks great and it plays great. And this, the great thing about this is you can keep going until, you know, you, you, know, you want to get your score up and get a really good score and, you know, you're going to have to start hitting some of the balloons and shit. But, unlike me. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, I just missed his head. And this really, really was revolutionary for VR to just get these motion controllers working. Look at this. Absolutely superb. Ah. I'm gonna just move on now. Back to here again. Now you see people love that. And it's a good thing to practice your um, uh, tracking. Now this was one of the ones I uh, I didn't particularly like. I didn't think this was really uh, fun to play when I uh, had my uh, VR headset. This is basically a uh, catapult type game where you you put you put like you grab a ball. Well, there's the balls in them. That's the only funny thing about it, like the voice. The comedy, but other than that, again, it's about being able to grab something I with a controller, pull it editor. back, and then just let go and watch it go. I am the Climate Change Awareness Core. Experimental Tracer Core released. And that is what this was all about. See, like now, I could like grab this thing and I can move it around. See, like the Rift, when it first came out, only had an Xbox controller, and you couldn't really do anything with the Xbox controller. And it gave you physics that you just would not normally get because you just didn't have motion controllers. What's he talking about? Uh, which is kind of superb, realistically. But that does get kind of boring after a while. We are used to using motion controllers now. So it's not as re relevant. Now this is Corvex. This is a uh, asteroid shooter game, and uh, you basically you control this ship with your hand, and then well, you eventually you can shoot with it. So this you use your hand again. It's motion controls, and then uh, press the trigger to shoot. Now. The interesting thing about this is obviously it's showing you again the physics and and the size of general things and that you can move around your play space whilst in this thing as well and kind of like you know look around try to miss the projectiles was that a power-up I just missed I'm not too sure yeah oh and then I got hit 
This is like absolutely amazing. And the weirdest thing is about this particular game is this is actually one of my favorite games in the lab. Why, why has nobody copied this idea? You know, not completely copied it so they end up getting sued by Valve. But, you know, something like this, I, I, you know, I, an asteroid shoe that you can just do this with is just fantastic. Well, I wouldn't want the motion controller on, I could just use the sticks or something, but if I could just look at it in a 3D universe like this, I think it'd be really cool. I think, it, I think I'd really, really enjoy it. Getting behind, I'm gonna get eaten. I bet there's some people that have played this until they've got their score ridiculously high. Gonna get laser beamed here. I mean, it just gets hectic. Look, just look how hectic it gets. Could have done a lot better than that. You see what I mean? How good is it at the moment? How much does this still apply today? Um, in 2019, now we have back, the Rift S, the Star VR, you know, the index that I'm using right now. I mean, how does it still apply? I mean, solar system. How does it, this is where you can actually play with the solar system. You can move around and you can grab, uh, this is Jupiter, this, not Jupiter, this is, yeah, it's Jupiter, right? There's the rings, do they not update this? They don't realize that Jupiter does have rings, light rings, you can barely see them, but it does have rings. But then you can, <laughs> you can play with it, like, and I think you can even use your head like that, you know, which was just revolutionary at the time. And it looks good, it looks sharp. It looks pretty damn good. It's gonna, oh, keep, I keep smacking my head to that, don't I? Test traveler of Pocket Universe Lab 8 has successfully survived an experiment. Now this one, human, human scan. I don't remember this one, but yeah. That's pretty uh, unique in its time. Unique now? Well, we have anatomy programs now. We do have anatomy programs now. So, we got one more. Can't be asked to turn around. Keep facing you guys. And we're gonna go back to the um, picturette place in Iceland, National Park. Oh my God, look at this. This is, this looks nice. This looks really, really nice. A bit foggy out there, but looks pretty nice. How far can you move? You can only move to certain snap locations. Yeah, yeah, you want me to throw a stick, I get it. I'm not very good at throwing. And also I want to go to throw. 
My play circle turns out right. Surely I can throw better than that. Clearly. It does actually feel like you're throwing, which is fantastic. Um, I can see slight glare when I'm in this, but it's not actually bad in the lab at all with the index. <laughs> My dog does that. Waggles its tail. Uh, bum. When it's really excited, don't just waggle its tail. Eventually, its whole bum starts waggling. Is that excited? So, here's this after what? So many years, 2016. April the 5th, 2016. Now we're in what? 25th of September, 2019. Is it still any good? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it's freaking amazing still. It's still pretty damn good, yeah. It's still relevant. I can't say that word um, very well. It still works today. It still works. Obviously, they added the finger tracking, but I, you can still go in it and feel really excited about it. It's still a great game. Well, great tech demo. It's a tech demo, remember that. And yes, like if you want a bow game, there's better bow games than that bow game. And yes, if you wanted a catapult game, there's a better catapult game. And if you wanted a fantasy game, there's a better fantasy game. But you have to pay for them. <laughs> You're not gonna get a few minutes of fun with it, you know, like you do with the lab, it's free. You know, so you just get to use it. I mean, like if you got your VR headset for the first time and you're thinking, right, I wanna try something out, I wanna see how my motion controllers are, then yeah, just put that on. There's not many other tech demos that have evolved from this. This tech demo, is still really good. It still looks really good. Um, you know, we've had Aperture Lab, which, you know, uses the finger tracking a little bit more better, and the one that's with the moon, where you can crush moon rocks and etc. and all that. They're pretty good, but they're quite shallow as well. Well, this one's not quite shallow. This is quite good, so it's still pretty good. Those ones are good, don't get me wrong, but they're quite, sh you know, quick, and, you know, and you've done it, just quickly shows you. Um, where this didn't just quickly show you, this really threw you in threw you in head first and the oculus equivalent um which was uh with that little robot i can't remember what that was actually called now it's completely first contact wasn't it first contact was okay doesn't really it's not even as good as the aperture lab or or the moon rock one which i can't even remember the name of but this lab is definitely the uh, b's and e's of the tech demos even still today 2019 and hats off to valve for such a great um, little tech demo. Well, not so little, it's a bit bigger than normal tech demos. So yeah, I can definitely still recommend this today. 2019, it is still a golden tech demo. So yeah, if you like what you see here, please give me a like and also subscribe and hit the bell button if you wanna watch more VR content. And I love you a long time and ciao.